Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Alyssa and this is Into the Heart Wild. And today I'm going to be bringing you guys a, another unboxing. Um, this, this unboxing will have, I have a Goldsboro box here and I actually have um, four books that I picked up recently at Half Price Books that I want to show off. Uh, but the actual unboxing is based around a package I received from my best friend. Um, if you're new to the channel, earlier in the channel's life, <laughs> which isn't too many videos ago, um, I was doing these unboxings where my best friend was sending me books. She goes to thrift stores for me because they're super cheap where she's at, whereas they're not cheap here where I am. <laughs> And so she would scour her local thrift stores for used mass market older fantasy books for me. Uh, it's been a while since she has sent a package because she waits until she can fill one up. And that has, that has clearly happened. This is, that's the size. <laughs> that's the size. Uh, I don't know exactly which ones are in there. Well, I know of certain ones that are in it. But everything else that's in there, I've honestly forgotten because that's how long it's been. But I think first we'll start, I'm going to start with the ones I want to show off real quick. I was like, hold on, I'm going to start with the Goldsboro one. But then I was like, wait, I want to show off these ones instead. So anyways, let's just, let's just go into this. <laughs> so I was recently at Half Price Books and I was there for someone else <laughs> and left with stuff for myself. And it, it is it is these books. So first we have The Throm of the Errol of Shrill, of yeah, Shrill by Patricia A. McKillop. Um, that's a giant dog that he's writing. Like, that's kind of cool. Uh, but uh <laughs> I recently read Patricia McKillop, I think for the first time last year, and I fell in love with her writing. And then I started discovering like more of her books. Uh, this is a standalone. It's only been printed in this one cover, but these next three, these next three are also Patricia's. And these are the ones where I have fallen in love with the covers and I am determined to own each and every one of them that have been released like this. So first we have Harrowing the Dragon. That's a ghost armored lady on a ghost horse. I don't know what this story is about but this cover is beautiful. It's Patricia. I'm gonna read it. <laughs> Again, another standalone. She wrote a lot of standalones. So, and I noticed these particular ones, it was her standalones that pretty much got this treatment to them just from my own research. Um, except for that first one I showed you guys for whatever reason. But next we have The Tower at Stony Wood. And the nice thing about this one is it's got full cover wraparound art. This is this is the business, you guys. This is the freaking business, okay? Like you can't look at this and not think it's beautiful. Um, and what's always nice is like her stories are just as pretty on the inside. If you like really pretty lyrical, um, kind of fluffy, I think they call it purple prose. I think that's what I was told. Um, this is Song for the Basilic. And again, full wraparound art. Uh, but yeah, she's got just like this very just like beautiful, pretty way of writing that is just kind of like lyrical and dreamy and just, just every time, like when I read them, I'm just like, this is beautiful. And I just kind of like fall into like this like very dreamy like realm <laughs> when I read her work. So if that's like your jam or if you want to give it a try, I definitely recommend Patricia. Um, her um, Forgotten Beasts of Eld is a good one. Uh, don't read the synopsis because you'll feel like it lied to you. Because that's what it did to me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, yeah. But now, let's move on to the... Hair. Let's move on to the Goldsboro one. Because, honestly, I don't know if this is... My monthly book for November. Did I get my monthly book for November? I did. Yeah, because it's right down here. So I don't know. Hopefully this is the one of the other, the Nick Martell that I ordered. The third book in, it is. <laughs> I've been waiting for this one. 
The Voyage of the Forgotten by Nick Martell. This is the third book in the Mercenary Kings. Is that what it's called? Ew. Why is it ripping like that? Oh, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to get in contact with them because the binding is broken on this. Um, <laughs> that's a little... So, yeah, Legacy of the Mercenary Kings, that's what it's called. Um, but yeah, as you can see, my binding is broken here. Um, kind of not liking that. So, I'll... Uh, <laughs> I think I'll be getting in contact with them considering, you know, it's supposed to be a special edition and the whole binding is broken right there on the the first page when you open it. Um, kind of, I think it was, I think they glued it wrong or something. I don't know. Um, yeah. <laughs> the good thing with Goldsboro is anytime I've had an issue with them, they have instantly fixed it. Um, cause I have had a book go missing that they replaced. I had a book show up without a signature in it, which they replaced. So yeah, this is just, it's yeah. Like if you were to, this, it's the binding is completely broken right there. And considering it's supposed to be like a collectible one, I'm, I'm going to be in contact with them about that. <laughs> so yay for opening it together. <laughs> um, and it's a good thing I finally did now too. So, but now we're going to move on to the highlight of this video. If I can carefully cut it open. And that would be the package that my best friend sent me. Um, and this sucker is full and it is heavy. So let's, there's a card in here. Oh, it's a print. It's a card. It's a happy birthday card because she loves me. Look how pretty it is. It's so pretty. <laughs> My birthday was this month. So her birth fun fact, her birthday is the day before mine. <laughs> That's pretty much how we became best friends. So let's see. So first we have a journal. It says manifest your power. So got myself a new lovely little witchy journal very much like that and then she sent me uh, a star wars little journal um as you can see 50 cents <laughs> but it's from the the original trilogy it's just a cute little um notebook next we have um summer long by peter s bagel um, I have I have read and love and adore his uh, Last Unicorn, and I've never read anything else by him. So when she seen this one, I was like, yeah, can you grab that one? Because I'm kind of interested. Then we have, which I knew were in there, some more Patricias. <laughs> we have Air of Sea and Fire. This one is part of um, the Riddle Master. Yeah, the Riddle Master of Head Trilogy. And then there's the Changeling Sea, which even her mass markets had really good covers too. And then there is Harpist in the Wind. Again, really, really nice one. And then the Riddle Master of Head. He looks very done with life. He's got tattoos on his forehead. That's kind of cool. Forest Mage by Robin Hobb. It's a big old paperback one. I've never seen this cover. Now that I think about it. Um, I forgot. This is one of the ones that I forgot she had picked up. <laughs> so we got that. Crystal Cave by Mary Stewart. I want to say, I'm pretty sure. I'm like 99.9% .9 certain that Bookish Chaz likes this series. Um, and since I'm a huge King Arthur fan... Uh, I, w I want to read it. <laughs> then we also have The Hollow Hills, which is book two of the Arthurian Saga by Mary Stewart. You know, looking at this picture on the computer, I thought that was a woman. That's a man. <laughs> I thought it was a woman this whole time. We have Dragon Harper. 
a crossroads adventure in the world of Anne McCaffrey's Pern. So this is not written by Anne, it's written by someone else within the world of Pern. And I was like, I need to read that. And there's two of them in total that are part of this crossroads adventure where different authors wrote within different series. And I wanna say two of them were for the Pern world. And I love Anne McCaffrey's Pern. So I had her snag this one for me as well. So definitely interested to see what Jodie Lynn Nye does with the tale. We have Renegade's Magic by Robin Hobb, book three in hardcover. So yeah, lots of good picks. Definitely excited for all the Patricias. That is everything that I have in this unboxing. Um, if you guys are familiar with any of these stories, go ahead and drop a comment below. Um, I do definitely recommend this series. It's, it's a good one. I haven't read the third yet, but I have read the first two. So I do recommend this and I will be in contact with Goldsboro to hopefully get this addressed. Um, and yeah, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.